Greetings everyone, this is Elizabeth. Thanks for hopping along today with the Colorado Craft Company super sponsor for Kendra's Card Challenge number 15. This is our quarterly challenge. This one, we're about halfway through. We have the month of September and then this quarter is done and then you'll have to go to the Patreon and or, uh, download the new challenges, but you have plenty of time to get some cards made. Um, there's a few days left in August here. Make your 15 cards, get them submitted, then make 15 more in September and get those submitted for a chance to win a prize from these lovely sponsors. Today's hop does have a prize, not from that list, but from Kendra. If you would like to enter to win that, go down to the description, click all of the information into the Google form. You'll find it down there. Trust me. <laughs> trust me. It's the famous last words, trust me. Um, I really, uh, you guys, look how cute this little stamp set is. Do you see? Do you see the kitty cat? topiary with a little birdie and it's it's unusual for me because we have like the scene here and then we have it so you could like do your own scene building maybe you only want one little topiary or maybe you want to pop one up so you can stamp and then pop it up on top I thought that was pretty clever but we get these little cat and the little bird right and then we can use those on other cards as little filler and we're gonna use them as filler today I think it's gonna be cute we're gonna use sketch number 12 okay now my sketch is a little bit different so the white area on mine is just the backing of the paper right the gray area is four and a quarter by five and a half that is the card base in our case if you're gonna follow along our card base is gonna be black However, we're adding another gray area. We cut a little piece, a quarter inch smaller, okay, so that we could have a white border. Now, because we cut that and we made this, I had to adjust this little piece a quarter inch. So instead of doing um, five inches, okay, we did um, four, <laughs> let me double check, four and no, this one is still five. That one is still five inches. Oh, that's because I'm reading the wrong one. Layers, five and a quarter. We took a quarter inch off. I was like, there's no way. Okay, so um, for the background layer, the dark gray, which is our black, we took a quarter inch off and same, just on the height though, not the width. The width is the same, height is changed. So on this one, it should be four and three quarters instead of the five. So we're just taking a quarter inch off so that we still get that layering effect, okay? And then this piece is exactly the same. So we're gonna follow the measurements exactly and we're gonna plop that right there, okay? I know, it's all black and white. And then for me, um, I, I did this on this one. I did a full banner and I really like that. And I think it's going to set well with this design. So I did a one inch layer and then a quarter inch skinny. And it is the four and a quarter. So it goes edge to edge. So this is four and a quarter by one inch, four and a quarter by three fourths an inch. So that we get a nice little border. Okay because these sentiments we're gonna use that little sentimenty we're gonna use it but first we need to decorate our panel because it's patterned paper right we're <laughs> but you don't have to right you can make your own patterned paper and that's what we're doing with this piece here okay in the sketch it would have been paper D and paper E those were our only two pattern papers paper D paper E but we're gonna we're gonna make we're gonna make our own okay and you guys wait till you see you guys it's gonna be so easy easy peasy lemon squeezy we're gonna take our little cat and we're gonna put it right there and we're gonna take a little bird and we're gonna put it right there <laughs> and then we're gonna get a stamping block <laughs> hopefully let's not have a catastrophe catastrophe got it get it haha <laughs> anyways 
don't mind me. It's cat, cat uh, it's cat, catarific, right? Okay, now this doesn't have to be perfect stamping by any means, okay? What we're going to do is hand stamp. I know, it's scary. I mean, we have our Misty and stuff, but we're gonna stamp this cat all over the place. We're gonna make our own little background paper. The best practice, stamp and hold it for a second or two. Right, stamp, press, one, two, three, let go. Because at that point, one, two, three, let go. We're letting the, the ink set into the paper Okay, that's what we want to do. Just let that ink set into the paper. And then we're just going to put these little kidder cats everywhere, you guys. We're making our own pattern to paper. Easy peasy. And what's even better is we're not even going to color it, you guys. We're doing a black and white color scheme. Clean and simple. Okay. And you can make a ton of these. And the best way to make a ton of these is to stamp a full sheet. Oops, let's get a, bit, a little bit more on his tail. Stamp a full sheet of cats. Ooh, I, that, see, it's not perfect, but that's okay. So now we've got the cat. We're going to clean up our little mess. Whoop, whoop, clean. See that? Clean. Now we're going to get this little, little cat put right there. We don't want to lose him, so we're going to stick him. And then we just need to make sure our bird is upright. And we're, then we're going to stamp our little birdie. Um, let me stamp off on this little birdie just because I want to make sure it is so tiny. Oh, yeah. Look at how cute that is. So we're going to gentle tap, press and hold, press and hold, press and hold. And the best way to make your own pattern paper is to stamp it off the edge, okay? It'll be like you stamped the whole sheet and then just trimmed it down. It'll be more believable, right? I mean, look at how, how adorbs is this? Got lots of birds down here. And then that's it, you guys. We actually have made cat and bird paper. Because these cats and birds, they're buds. They're ha they're hanging out. They're having fun. But we've just made little birdie paper. <laughs> I mean, you could stamp teeny tiny birds all over, right? Birds and polka dots would be super cute. Birds and stars, cats and stars, dots, dots, stars, circles, whatever you want to add. So that's done. Okay, so we can put that back on. Look at, look at how slick that looks. The little black and white paper we just made. I know, it's fabulous, right? Okay, and then this part, just as easy. Because we have that bar that runs across there, what we're going to do is we're going to get a bigger stamping block. We're going to stamp this towards the bottom. Okay, this is our rocky rocky area right we're going to stamp that towards the bottom we're going to go off press and hold release look at that look at how cute that little you guys you have critters from other companies critters from um colorado craft company you can put the critters on there easy peasy so we're going to pluck pluck that off and then we're going to get the cat topiary. The cat topiary. Because that's what I want to use. I want to use the cat topiary. And these are stamping really well. We're going to push our luck. We're going to push our luck and just hand stamp this. I don't even know why I closed that ink. We weren't done. If you find that your stamping is not perfect the first time out okay you just might need to clean your stamp now we're not going to stamp this in the ground because we have that border that's going to come through there right 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to aim to get that bird close to the top and in the center. Close to the top and in the center. Again, hold it for a few seconds. Release. And if it hangs on, just tap it. Look at that. And yes, there is a disconnect. But don't forget, we're going to have this go right through there. So the, the pot of that is not even going to be seen. So we're going to color this really quick. And I do mean really quick, you guys. Are you ready for this? Oh, you guys are going to love this. You're going to get two or three colors of green. Doesn't matter. You're going to take your lightest green. And you're just going to plop a bunch of dots. Are you ready? And we're going to use the kind of the side of our brush. Unless you have a bullet nib. And then you just make dots, guys. Just make a lot of dots. And we're just going to fill this in. Like so. Okay, and see how we have some white area left? You're going to take your, <laughs> the stamps are sticking to me. We're going to take our second color of green, and we're going to aim for some of those holes that we left. Okay, maybe right there. And we don't mind if we go over the edge, okay? Don't mind at all. I mean, there's even a couple little doodads there, okay? Okay. Then we're going to take our darker green and then we're going to plop in some darker green in any of the leftover white areas that we might have. And that is pretty much it. Just like so. Okay. And because our tree is taken up we're not even going to worry about that. We're going to grab a little bit of a red only because red's going to pop. A little bit and you know our bird is so teeny weeny it needs all the help it can get to be seen teeny tiny taps get that in there okay we're gonna do our gray grayish brown colors at the bottom some warm grays and again we're just kind of tapping in that color nothing fancy like so, we're going to get another shade. And we're just going to kind of add some more of that. And one more shade, a bit lighter. Nothing fancy, you guys. Nothing fancy by any means. And then we're going to pick one of the greens we already used. Probably this lighter one. And we're just going to get that in there there okay easy peasy lemon squeezy are you ready let's assemble let's assemble and we'll be done we'll be done with our 15 minute card it not even 15 minutes you guys well yeah probably 15 because it took me a couple minutes just to trim down all the pieces but once you have all the pieces right once you the mathing right the mathing is the hard part um once you get it all mathed out and everything oops let's not glue that place <laughs> let's put some glue on here this will be about a 20 minute card the first one the first one with all the die or the the panel cutting like so But you can make a whole bunch of pieces all at once, right? Because that didn't take long. That didn't take long at all. I mean, look at that. Isn't that adorable? Okay. Maybe you know somebody that's just moved in or is moving in general. A little house plant because they're fun. I think it's a little crooked. But that's that's us, right? We're all a little crooked. <laughs> Get that in there. OK. 
okay and then we're going to stamp our sentiment across this guy here and we're gonna do thinking about you today that's really cute too by the way it says thinking about you today how are you doing my friend sending you happy little thoughts let's visit soon very very cute okay and then we're gonna do the same thing we're gonna ink her up okay and then we're gonna just hope for the best hope for the best Ooh, our hopes and dreams have come true. Uh -huh. You could definitely put it in your Misty so that you get um, pr precision stamping, especially if it doesn't stamp right the first time. But look at us being all lucky today. Now these pieces, it, this, this layering only has a top and a bottom, not the sides. Okay, let's try this again. We don't want you, there we go. There we go. We'll clean off that little bit of glue. Get that a little, yeah, there we go. I mean, look at that. Isn't it gorgeous? I wanna thank you all for joining us on the hop today. Be sure to visit Kendra's Patreon and all of her um, fun, her Facebook, YouTubes, all that stuff, which you can find in my link tree down below, the Chat With Sassy link tree. And you can go get your free sketches, the 15 sketches for the challenge. If you have the paid version of the Patreon, you can go back to past sketches. So you'll have sketchy ideas for a long time to come. But we can do simple, we can do quick, we can do fabulous, just lickety split, right? All rhymy. Oh my gosh, listen to me. Anyways, I thank you all so much. We'll see you next time. And uh, definitely go check out Kendra's Patreon and her Facebook group. Absolutely wonderful, fun, informational stuff out there for you. And then check out Colorado Craft Company for your beautiful stamp set. This one is called Topiaries and Kittens. I mean, you guys, it's a kitty. We can't, we can't, right? It's just too much. It's so cute. But there it is. Our our card for Kendra's card challenge using sketch number 12 with a little bit of a variation of this and then the background layer. I hope you like and I hope to see what you have created. Be sure to post in Kendra's card challenge and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>